Hi everyone, and welcome to our 2020 awards ceremony at Doan Academy. Our format's gonna be a little bit different this year, but the essence of what we're doing this evening is the same as we do every year. This is a wonderful opportunity to celebrate all of the accomplishments of our students and to reflect on what has really been an outstanding year at Doan Academy. I know it's easy to dwell on the last two months uh, where we have found ourselves at home and not in school, but our school year started in September and has been a wonderful year. And even the last two months, we've learned a great deal about each other, about ourselves, and our ability to learn even under trying circumstances. So again, thank you for being here. Let's head into the chapel and we can get started. Thanks. We begin our time this evening as we traditionally do with a reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. All wisdom is from the Lord and it is his own forever. The sand, the sea, and the raindrops, and the days of eternity, who can assess them? The height of the sky, and the breadth of the earth, and the depth of the abyss, who can probe them? Before all other things wisdom was created, shrewd understanding is everlasting. For whom has the root of wisdom ever been uncovered? Her resourceful ways, who knows them? One only is wise, terrible indeed, seated on the throne, the Lord. He himself has created her, looked on her and assessed her, and poured her out on all his works to be with all mankind as his gift. And he conveyed her to those who love him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Father Haynes. Let us pray. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, who hast created us in thine own image, grant us grace fearlessly to contend against evil and to make no peace with oppression and that we may reverently use our freedom, help us to employ it in the maintenance of justice among all people and nations, to the glory of thy holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we now pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The presentation of awards. We begin with the Dwight D. Eisenhower Distinguished Scholar Award. Mr. Brian Schultz, a West Point graduate and a local alumni representative of the Academy, typically makes this presentation, but is not able to join us this evening. If Mr. Schultz were here, he would talk about the importance of the Academy, the importance of President Eisenhower, General Eisenhower, and the importance of scholarship, all of which go into the award of this prize to a member of the junior class. A portfolio will be presented to the winner uh, by Mr. Schultz when we next see him. In the meantime, though, please join me in congratulating Manav Raval. And now student council awards will be given out by Ms. Brandwood, the faculty advisor to student government. Ms. Brandwood? Certificates and pins of service are awarded to the leaders of student government the student body president, Manav Raval, the student body vice president, Nicholas Kern, and the student body secretary treasurer, Aaron Schwaker. These three have been a power trio this year, advocating for student interests and innovating student government operations to make meaningful change in our community. Thank you and congratulations.
And now Ms. Tynan will present awards for our theater program. Ms. Tynan? The Robert Rayner Memorial Stagecraft Award is a plaque in memory of Robert Rayner, the Director of Dramatics from 1990 to 1998. This award is presented to a student who has excelled in the backstage details which are so important to an excellent production. So congratulations, Aaron Doran. The Drama Award, or the Ruthie, which is given in honor of our longtime theater director, Ruth Strayan, is given for excellence in acting. So congratulations, Sadi Gomez. The Excellence in Art Award is presented by art instructors Jared Fisher and Lynn Snyder. Mr. Fisher, Ms. Snyder. The Excellence in Art Award goes to the student who has exhibited a deep commitment to the visual arts. This student persevered through the multitudes of challenges, failures, and self-doubt inherent in the arts and achieved the power of visual self-expression while also being an inspiring presence to others in the studio. So congratulations to this year's winner, Emily Myers. The Music Department Awards. Dr. Zuckerman will present the Vocal Music Award. The Vocal Music Award this year goes to a student who always seeks to challenge herself beyond her comfort zone. She is driven to grow as a musician and to raise the bar of her personal best. She has performed solo within the Doan community since she was a child of seven, and she has matured into a public performer who has sung for audiences numbering in the thousands. This student has truly found her voice, and she uses it to express who she is and what she believes in. In doing so, she exemplifies the soul and purpose of an artist. This year's Vocal Music Award goes to Taylor Ward. Ms. Mazar will present Band Awards. The Louis Armstrong Award was initiated in 1974 by his wife to recognize those students that excel in their high school music programs in the area of jazz education. Doan Academy first gave this award in 2015. This year, recipients are two students, two young men who are very dedicated, talented, and committed to our jazz ensemble, both Nicholas Kern and Nicholas Colavita. Thank you so much for what you've given and contributed to our jazz ensemble. Congratulations. Since its inauguration in 1954, thousands of United States high schools have presented the John Philip Sousa Award to their most outstanding band student. The award recognizes those young musicians displaying superior musicianship, leadership, dependability, loyalty, cooperation, and other qualities of conduct which school instrumental music programs strive to impact. The 2020 recipient of the John Philip Sousa Award has given selflessly of his talents both on and off campus since he began his musical career in fourth grade. Thank you and congratulations, Connor McHugh. The Society of Graduates Class of 1966 Award. $100 is given to a student who has shared her talents at all school meetings and has been the leading voice, literally, in her four years in the choir. In addition to her contributions to the Doan Music Program, she has shared the gift of her voice with countless others in the community, singing at events large and small. She is an outstanding representative of our school and a terrifically talented vocal performer who takes our breath away each time we have the privilege to hear her sing. Congratulations, Taylor Ward. The Foreign Language Awards will now be presented by Ms. Annie Hall and Mr. Julian Cook. 
A book is awarded to a student who has shown achievement, consistency, and interest in a foreign language. This year's Latin award goes to a student who has done everything Latin related that Doan has to offer. They've attended six years of Latin camp, been to every Latin convention, and taken up through the AP level of Latin. Beyond just taking advantage of these opportunities, this student regularly researches Latin outside of class and shares articles of interest with me, as well as the best Latin memes. Congratulations, Quinn Canavan. The National Latin Exam, sponsored by the American Classical League and the National Junior Classical League, is a test with questions on grammar, comprehension, mythology, derivatives, classical literature, Roman life, history, geography, oral Latin, and Latin in use in the modern world. The philosophy of the National Latin Exam is predicated on providing every Latin student the opportunity to experience a sense of personal accomplishment in his or her study of the Latin language and culture. A Certificate of Honorable Merit Magna Cum Laude is awarded for outstanding performance on the National Latin Exam to Frank Paz. A Certificate of Honorable Merit Cum Laude is awarded to J.P. Barclay. Congratulations. The World Languages Department seeks to recognize a student in upper school in both Latin and Spanish who has demonstrated a keen ability to achieve, remain consistent, and develop an interest in language learning. It is my pleasure to award this year's Spanish Award recipient. In my time in knowing this student, I've continually been impressed with their general and genuine disposition to language learning, their ability to grasp new concepts, both culturally and grammatically, and their genuine demonstration of wanting to learn more language as evidenced by their STEAM fair projects and their attendance to world language summer camps. The book that this student is being awarded falls in the genre of literature called Epic Historical Sagas, I think this genre of literature in particular will pique the students' cultural curiosity in addition to enhancing their current Spanish language and cultural skill set. So congratulations, Kai Martin. You're being awarded La Isla Baja el Mar por Isabel Allende. Department Chair Ms. Brandwood will now present English awards. Each year, a book is presented to a senior for excellence as an English student. This year's recipient of the English Award is a skilled writer and a dynamic, insightful reader who approaches literary texts as a trenchant social critic. She lends urgency and depth to our seminar discussions by applying lenses of gender, race, class, and other systemic forces, helping us recognize that literature is never produced or received in a cultural vacuum. Thanks to her mature advocacy for broader representation in our curriculum, this student leaves the Doan English Department better than she found it. She also just loves reading. She often asks for recommendations, and this book prize is one of my favorites. Congratulations, Layla Daly. A book is presented to a junior or senior who has demonstrated significant improvement in their writing skills. The writing award goes to a student who has shown remarkable growth in her written expression over her four years at Dome. She came to us with a great deal of raw talent and her rigorous attention to feedback and self-advocacy in seeking writing conferences allowed her to improve exponentially with each successive draft. As a graduating senior, she writes with lyricism, precision, and clarity. Her AP practice essays written under time pressure were consistently excellent. I am so proud to present this year's writing award to Haley Chen. The Francis M. Mulford Math Award will be presented by Mr. Michael Russell. Mr. Russell? Francis M. Young and Martha M. Gray, daughters of the late Francis Mears Mulford, a longtime and beloved member of the Doan Academy faculty, created this award in her memory. This year's mathematics prize goes to a student who, throughout her time at Doan Academy, has showcased what it means to play with their math be it creating graphical representations of Shrek, using endless force summations to calculate and design a balsa wood bridge that was mimicking a suspension bridge, or tackling multivariable calculus as an independent study her senior year, she has showcased through her tenacity, drive, and resilience everything we at Doan Academy hope to achieve in our mathematics department. This year's mathematics prize goes to Grace Eagleson. And now the Ivy Yearbook Award will be presented by Mr. Jack Newman. Mr. Newman? Yeah. 
The Ivy Yearbook Award. A plaque and a certificate are awarded to an upperclassman who has demonstrated excellence and dependability in dedication and commitment toward the production of the yearbook. This student has shown a knack from the very beginning, a knack for design, for layout, for photography, but perhaps more importantly, the student has grown a lot while in a yearbook class, yearbook team, has developed her voice, has developed leadership skills, and has really taken the reins and learned how to be that editor-in-chief. Congratulations, Tomi Oluwashin Apo. The Science Award will be presented by Mr. John Bonnick. Mr. Bonnick? The Science Award and a book chosen by the department goes to the senior who has demonstrated sustained excellence and curiosity in the field of science. This year, the Science Award goes to someone who is an example of the type of passionate learner the department strives to create of all its students. In addition to excelling in many of the highest level science courses offered here at Dome, the student has excelled in the annual STEAM Fair, bringing their talent to unique and creative projects every year. In the classroom, the student is described by their peers as someone who has a tremendous ability to lift others up with them by modeling the patience, the strong work ethic, and the natural curiosity needed as a scientist. The student has been an example for others throughout their time here at Doan, and we as a department are proud to share this award with them. Congratulations, Aaron Schwager. The History Award will be presented by Ms. Marianne Williamson. Ms. Williamson? A book is presented in memory of Sally London Fell and Betty Fell Segrist by the family to a student at Doan Academy who best exemplifies the independent thought and inquisitive mind so necessary for a proper understanding of the past and its relation to the present and to the future. This year's History Award goes to a student who consistently challenged himself in the pursuit of deeper understandings of history whose desire to learn more and understand how and why events occurred throughout history inspired great discussion in the classroom. We hope that you will always dig for the deeper meaning in all of your endeavors. This year's History Award winner is Manav Ruvel. The Society of Graduates, Class of 1956 Award. $100 is presented by the Society of Graduates to a senior who, by the vote of the faculty, quietly and without thought of recognition, has given to the school beyond the call of duty of his or her talents and services. This year's award goes to a gifted student who cares deeply about Doan Academy. Gracious and kind, she always displays her concern for her classmates, her teachers, her coaches, and for visitors to the school in her role as an outstanding student athlete, a committed tour guide, and as a student leader without ever asking anything in return. Congratulations, Tomi Olawashan Apo. Class of 1981 Award. $100 is given by the Class of 1981 to a senior who has contributed the most to the success of the class. This year's recipient of the Class of 1981 Award is a charismatic and highly respected member of that class. As class president, he did it all, leading meetings, organizing events, and building coalitions. He put in the hard work that comes with leadership and is recognized by all as the glue that held this class together, even during difficult times this spring. Congratulations, Zakaria Buya. The Pyle 
V. Patel Class of 1996 Scholarship, a $501 award for college tuition is given in memory of Pyle Patel, who exemplified throughout her life a willingness to help others. The award is presented to the Doan Academy graduating senior who most demonstrates a strong commitment to improving the quality of life for people at Doan Academy and the community at large through their service. This year's recipient has regularly shared his musical gifts with both the Doan Academy community and the community at large, performing at services and events throughout the region. He has always been willing to step up when asked and is an outstanding ambassador, not only of our instrumental music program, but of the entire student body. Congratulations, Connor McHugh. And now Athletic Director Dan Williamson will present the Society of Graduates Class of 1984 Award. Every year, $100 and a plaque is given by the Society of Graduates to one senior athlete who gave the most to Doan Academy Athletics through participation, talent, and spirit. This year's winner came to Doan and took part in just about every competitive sport we offer. She ended up being a phenomenal goalie for the girls soccer team. She ended up being a vital piece on the girls basketball team. And she helped our girls softball team reach the prep state championship game twice, which had never been done before in school history. This year's 1984 award winner is Madison Rijos. Director of College Counseling Lacey Hall will now present college awards. The University of Rochester Bausch & Lomb Honorary Science Award is awarded to a high school student who demonstrates high achievement and rigor in math and science courses, as well as positive contributions to their school and within the larger community. Congratulations, Amelia Sternchos. The Rensselaer Medal Award. This certificate was first presented in 1916 with two purposes to recognize the superlative academic achievement of young men and women, and to motivate students towards careers in science, engineering, and technology. This $10,000 per year merit scholarship is good for four years to each winner who is accepted and chooses to enroll at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Congratulations, Isabella Astrin. Head of Upper School, Rand Holman, will now present awards to the highest ranking students. Thanks, Mr. Sanderson. It's my honor to present ranking student awards this year. The pursuit of excellence is truly worthwhile and exhausting. It takes incredible commitment and consistency. And this year, with all the disruptions we've faced, I'm particularly awe-inspired by these students for their commitment and consistency to their academic work. These students achieved their highest GPA by grade level. And then finally, I'll announce who achieved the highest GPA in the upper school community. The ranking student for ninth grade is Isabella Clemente. The ranking student for 10th grade is Sierra Yackel. The ranking student for 11th grade is Amelia Sternchos. The ranking student for 12th grade is Grace Eagleson. And finally, the ranking student for the school as a whole is Grace Eagleson. Fernley Citizenship Awards. An upward and onward pin is presented by the Society of Graduates to in memory of the Reverend and Mrs. John Fernley to a student at each grade level in the upper school in each of two categories, one for outstanding citizenship, the other for most growth in citizenship during the school year. For outstanding citizenship in ninth grade, Nadia Buya. For outstanding citizenship in 10th grade, Antoine Kirby.
for Outstanding Citizenship in 11th grade, Manav Raval. And for Outstanding Citizenship in 12th grade, Layla Daly. For most growth in citizenship in ninth grade, Jade Glass. For most growth in citizenship in 10th grade, Sammy Sultani. For most growth in citizenship in 11th grade, Layla Abdullah. And for most growth in citizenship in 12th grade, Isabella Trimble. The Bishop Gardner Memorial Award. A sterling silver Celtic cross is given in memory of Bishop Wallace Gardner by his friend, the late Alan B. McGowan, by the vote of the faculty to a senior who has made a unique contribution to some area of school life. This year's recipient is a deeply committed student who, through his passion for computer science, helped lead our efforts to develop our technology curriculum and the integration of technology in all of our classrooms. Moreover, he helped us all learn more about type 1 diabetes and showed us how knowledge and positivity can help us overcome the challenges we face in life. Congratulations, Aaron Schwager. The Rotary Scholarship Award. A certificate is presented to a student for a $1,000 scholarship given by the Rotary Club of Burlington to a graduating senior who was a resident of Burlington City, Burlington Township, or Edgewater Park, New Jersey. This year's recipient of the award is a resident of Burlington Township and has regularly reminded us all of the importance of service, both in our school and in our community. She cares deeply about others, not only in her words, but her deeds. Congratulations, Jessica Hubbs. The Good, Real, Important, and True Grit Skeno Family Award. Given by the Skeno family, whose members include two graduates of Doan Academy, a former trustee of our school, and a co-chair of countless auctions and fundraising efforts, a certificate is presented for a $250 scholarship to a member of the class of 2020 who has persisted prevailed and achieved in spite of adversity. This year's recipient of the Skeno Family Grit Award demonstrates on a daily basis the value of caring for others even while attending to one's own challenges. Congratulations, Ariana Klum. I will now present a commendation from the Senate and General Assembly to Doan Academy's graduating seniors. This commendation signed by State Senator Troy Singleton, who has spoken at Doan Academy each of the last two Martin Luther King days, emphasizes the connection between our school community and the greater community around us, a connection that feels more important in this moment than ever. The commendation reads, Senate and General Assembly citation. Commendations and praise are extended to this student by the citizenry of the 7th New Jersey Legislative District through their elected representatives for their dedication to scholastic attainment, for active involvement in the learning experience, and for perseverance in completing the requirements for a diploma graduation certificate from Doan Academy. And now I'd like to turn things over to Senior Class President Zach Boya, who will share some reflections about the class of 2020. Zach? So I remember one of the first times I met with my whole class during our sophomore Rock Roots and Wings trip. 
At first night, sitting in the rec room at our camp in the Poconos, a Mr. Holman handed out index cards and pens to everyone in the class. What he said next was something I'd carry for the rest of high school. Write what you think the class of 2020 should be remembered by. It was a little bonding exercise, something designed to get us to think about things that were higher than our individual self. Being a new student who had just met most of the kids that I would spend the rest of high school with that day, I wasn't sure what I should write down. I didn't know enough about the class dynamic or about any of my classmates for that matter. So being out of my element, with all these people I barely knew, I certainly wasn't gonna ask for help. So I wrote down all I could. And all I said was the class of 2020. Here it is right here. I never got around to classifying what our class should be remembered by. And this index card is a reminder of how far I've come since I came here to Doan Academy. It really is hard to believe that three years have passed since I started going to school here. And I'm here telling you this story because I think I finally know what our class should be remembered by. I'm not claiming that I know exactly what we are because like I said, I've only been here since sophomore year. And a lot of my classmates have been there for a lot longer, but this is my honest opinion. So the short and easy answer would be the fact that we're graduating during a pandemic, which is something unique about us, but I don't think that's what we should be remembered by. We may be remembered by the world as COVID-19 graduates, but in and around Doan, this class has made such an amazing impact that there's so much more. Let's break it down. So we're gonna start off with the connections. You know, it's really remarkable how deep the connections run in and out of our class. Uh, some of my classmates have incredible friendships with many different kids in probably every grade. And it's not just a wave and say hello in the hallway friendship. It's more like a stop and talk, ask how they're doing, make sure they're having a good day friendship. Uh, to me, seeing these extraordinary friendships that all of us have really highlights how special a place Doan is because we have the opportunities to form bonds outside of our peer group. If I remember correctly, I think this was one of the points that was brought up at our meeting on that Rocks, Roots and Wings trip. The fact that our class was really good with the younger students at our school. But I'm not gonna restrict it to that. I think it simply lies in the way we've connected with under, other students from the youngest primary student to the oldest senior and even all our staff and faculty that we've had the pleasure to learn from throughout the years. It's a shame that I've only been at Doan for three years because it sort of restricts the way I can connect with different people across the school. I know some of our longer tenured students still keep in touch with teachers that taught them many years ago because they made that connection, that friendship, and they always know that they can get back and talk whenever they want. This class is also full of exceptional athletes I had the pleasure to attend as many games as I could over the years to support my classmates. And it really struck me how all of them are just perfect teammates, you know, always communicating, making sure everybody knows what's going on. It's truly amazing. And the leadership I've seen displayed on the court, the field or the diamond helped lead Doan Athletics into a new era. Those teams that did not get to play in our first year of the BCSL, they dominate a lot of soccer and basketball games I got to see. It really is a tragedy that baseball and softball never got to play a game in the new league. But for all my seniors who didn't get to play last season, I mean this when I say it, they weren't ready for us. It's, this was gonna be our last year, the one we remember with the fondest of memories long after the fact. It's unfair, it's cruel, it sucks. But don't fear despair for the losses we all suffered. Feel grateful for the chances you've had and the memories you've made. What I'm going to say next is not limited to the baseball, softball, and crew members who never got to have their senior season to show what they had left to give to the program. This is for the entire class. I want you all to remember it. You've each left an unforgettable mark on Doan Athletics. You're going to be remembered by friends, family, coaches, teachers, all the above for those things you've accomplished on the field long after you've gone from this place. And for my last point, I could talk about the academic, the artistic, or even the musical talent of the class of 2020 all day. But for this point, I think I'm just gonna say we all have to take a second and admire just how resilient this group is. If anything, the pandemic we're in is just going to grow everyone into more resilient people. But the fact is they stayed tough and on top of everything that was going on as we adjusted to a new way of life. 
One of the most important things that makes a person resilient, in my opinion, is maintaining strong and supportive relationships. In times of uncertainty like this, it is good to have people you trust and care for because those are going to be the ones who help pick up yourself in times of need. They are going to be the ones that keep you smiling from day to day. They are going to be the ones that help you get through that uncertainty. And as I said it before, I'll say it again, Doan Academy is an amazing place to foster these friendships and connections. And all the ways that I've seen my class do this gives them so much incredible support to help them through this tough time. Whether it's family, friends, teacher, other faculty, the class of 2020 is becoming more resilient because of that support they receive from the connections in and around Doan Academy. And to my class, I want you all to remember how members of the Dunn community have helped you through the years. They've helped you grow into the resilient people you are today. At this point, I'm struggling to express what I want to say. I think it's harder to reflect at this time. Senior year, especially this spring, was supposed to be an exciting and memorable time for us. And losing that in-person in experience leaves a big what if, a question mark, that could rest on one's shoulders for the rest of the li their lives. It took me a while to get to the realization that we aren't getting this one back. I found myself in March and early April hoping for a return to school so we can salvage what we had left and at least play some baseball. At the time, I just refused to believe that we'd lose the entire rest of the school year. Now it's always good to be optimistic, but once reality sets in and it's not what you wanted, you know, there's a certain disappointment, a sense of anger, an incredible loss. Then you start to realize that online school isn't as easy as it seems. Getting up and going to school becomes harder. Staying focused in class becomes a challenge as you find yourself becoming distracted by Legos or maybe a book or the ever popular distraction of a smartphone. I know it's hard and I personally have struggled with paying attention and waking up, but sometimes you just gotta pick yourself up and say, I'm going to get started on that assignment due next Tuesday. I'm going to correct my calculus test before the end of the school year. I'm going to get assignment that was due last week done as soon as possible because I want to graduate with the best grades I can. As you progress through the stay at home order, you start to find that not all of it's bad. You start spending quality time with your family, maybe a little too much, but you love them anyway, so it's okay. Personally, you know, I finally figured out how to solve a Rubik's Cube. It took me a while, but one day I was just said, Zach, you're gonna figure out how to solve this Rubik's Cube. Now I can do it in comfortably under two minutes. Maybe that's not for everybody, but I'm sure there's small victories in everyone's lives that have been happening throughout March, April, and May. Maybe you finally read that book series you've been playing to read but never had the time to do so. Maybe you finally started running or biking, daily exercise to keep you in shape. And even if you finally watch that TV series your friend recommended, it's still a victory. This pandemic has really shifted the focus of day-to-day -day life. All those small victories I just talked about, they're more important now than ever. Finally painting that room, weeding your garden, those little victories are gonna be the things that keep us going right now makes us be the things which makes each day, each day special. So I challenge all of you to go out tomorrow and do something that makes you feel proud of yourself. It can be as simple as you want or as complicated as you can think of. As long as you're out there having those small victories, feeling proud about your accomplishment to the day, I'm gonna be proud too. Now we get to the point where I reflect on all the things I'm gonna miss at Don't Academy. I mean, this place wouldn't be what it is without all the teachers and the rest of the faculty. They maintain a safe space for learning and growth as a person. I'm gonna miss interacting with all of them. And who can forget about the students, especially the class of 2020, the people I'm graduating with. I guess they ended up accepting me as a person or else I wouldn't be here addressing you as the senior class president. We may have had my difference, our differences and I'm sorry for that, but this class is like a second family to me. I'm so glad I got the opportunity to work from them and learn from them. Why didn't I come to Doan sooner? And the rest of the students, I'm gonna miss them too. Some of my closest friends hail from different grades. I'm kind of sad I won't get to see them next year because I'm gonna be in college. 
But I know we'll keep in touch, sending each other stupid memes, making fun of the New York Jets, or just an out of blue text to ask how things are going. I don't doubt that. And of course, being the original Mr. Gibbons advisee means I'm almost obligated to miss that place, and I most certainly will. Sophomore year, it was just me and Gibbons because some kid named Justin uh, Pepperoni or Millie, I'm not really sure, it was a long time ago. I'm glad that we real. I'm glad that we assimilated some other students from other old advisories because it's much more fun to share lunch with a group of people and listen to a life story from Mr. Gibbons than by yourself. And quickly, let me just say, I made a serious omission for my cap and gown photo. I cannot believe that I forgot to include my advisor, Mr. Gibbons. So I'll shout him out here. We had a lot of fun in baseball and chemistry. And although he never let us do labs in AP Chem, I'm grateful that I had the chance to learn from him. His demos were cool to watch. Although, like I said, we didn't get, to, we didn't get a lot of cool action in AP Chem. All right, this last bit is a little personal. So I'm gonna get back to the senior class as a whole before we wrap this up. I'm absolutely sure that all my classmates are gonna go on to do incredible things in life. Their careers are gonna be something to watch over the years as I believe they've gained more life skills than any class around them due to the nature of their development through high school. No other class is going to be able to claim that they finished up their senior year in the middle of a worldwide health crisis. I think we're better than, I think we're better for it. Going forward, don't forget where you came from, seniors. A lot of valuable life lessons can be drawn from your years at Doan, and it's going to help you get through things. In closing, I'd like to thank my teachers, my parents, the rest of my family, my friends, all of them for helping me get to where I am today, someone who's ready to graduate. Thank you. We will now have a special presentation of the passing down of the Ivy Necklace by last year's winner, Grace Eagleson. Grace? Hi everyone, I'm Grace, and I'm honored to be last year's recipient of the Ivy Leaf Necklace. It is a long-standing Doan tradition for this necklace to be passed down from the advancing senior to a junior girl who embodies Doan. This year's recipient is just that, a complete embodiment of Doan's values of engagement and dedication, as well as citizenship. She goes above and beyond inside the classroom and out, all with a smile on her face and kind words to give. Her quiet nature, at least upon first glance, is deceiving. But once you get to interact with her, you immediately become uplifted by her character. From her gracious respect towards everyone she meets to her unlimited kindness, she always brightens up her classrooms and communities. Communities to which she selflessly gives her all. Each day, she can always be spotted doing something done. Without thought of recognition, she dedicates herself to every activity she's involved in, and there's quite a few. She plays an active role in three seasons of sports, mock trial, choir, and prom committee. Not only is she dedicated to the success of her teams, clubs, and peers, but she is also dedicated to her own success. She frequently takes advantage of free time to seek out academic help and her curiosities, knowing that her success must stem from her own ambition and dedication. She works hard and plays hard, all while making the people around her feel loved, making her the epitome of Joan. I'm so proud to hand the Ivy Leaf necklace down to this year's recipient, Ayana Holly. The Ivy Leaf and Head Boy Cup are the two highest awards given to students at Doan Academy. This year, all members of the senior class were considered for these awards. And now I am pleased to present Sarah Scioli and Ariane Gomez, last year's winners of these prizes, to make the presentation to this year's winners. Hello, my name is Sarah Scioli, and last year I was honored to receive the Ivy Leaf Award. This year, it is my privilege to present this honor to a girl from the Doan Academy class of 2020, and I am very grateful to be here given the challenges that our world is facing today. 
This year's recipient is a girl who is smart, hardworking, and kind. She never fails to achieve her goals, and she always exceeds expectations. She is talented inside and outside of the classroom, and she is never afraid to try new things. As a person, this girl always remains positive, striving to be her best for not only herself, but for those around her. Her ability to always look on the bright side and bring joy to everyone she meets make her a good person and an even better friend. This girl has overcome much adversity during her time at Doan, and she has done so with a smile on her face. No matter how she feels on the inside, this girl offers anyone who needs it a smile and her understanding. Her bubbly personality never fails to spread happiness wherever she goes, and her generous heart makes her a loyal friend. This girl is selfless in that she never fails to put others first, but she is also strong and she stands up for herself and fights for what she believes is right. As an athlete, this girl has not only showcased her prowess on the field, but she has also demonstrated her worth as a teammate. No matter what, she always supports her team when they need it most. Academically, this girl is truly gifted. She always strives for excellence, no matter how difficult or advanced the material is. All of her attributes make this girl a great role model, and she constantly inspires those around her to be their best selves. Throughout her years at Doan, she has embodied the qualities this award is built on, but she has never sought recognition. This girl is motivated by her big heart and her love for those around her. Her dedication to not only her schoolwork, but also to her teammates and to her friends is something to be admired. She is everything the Ivy Leaf is meant to be and more. Therefore, it is my great honor to present this year's Ivy Leaf Award to Grace Eagleson. Class of 2020, I can't imagine what a year it has been for you all, specifically as a result of this spring's uncertain nature. But it's important that we remember to smile and take a moment to laugh. While these graduation traditions and ceremonies may be different this year, never forget that you've overcome a lot to get to this moment and you are all more than deserving of being praised and recognized. With that being said, it is my honor to continue one of these traditions by recognizing this year's Head Boys Cup recipient. This individual characterizes what it's like to be a Doan Academy student inside of Doan and its surrounding communities. In school, he is a role model to students of all ages, a selfless giver of time and kindness, and is someone who fully embraces the arts, especially with regard to music and theater. He has raised our consciousness and encouraged us to check our privilege, particularly for those who are less fortunate during the Christmas season, through coat and toy drives like Toys for Tots. He has really helped Don Academy stand out among other institutions of learning, reminding all of us that if we can give, we should. It is not easy doing with the things that he does, but he seems to do it with a smile on his face every time. As hard as it is to pass down this token of prestigious honor, I'm happy to welcome this young man to the long list of young men who have kept the true heart and spirit of Bishop George Washington Doan alive. Ladies and gentlemen, this year's Head Boy Cup winner is Nick Kern. Congratulations, Nick Kern. Well deserved. Well, we would love to have all of you join in the singing of the alma mater. Given the fact that we're not together, I hope you just enjoy this rendition of the alma mater, recently completed and shared online. Onward, alma mater, hear our praise as we proud to be thy children. Pledge ourselves to Thee, from Thy deep foundation, duty, honor, calls, delights, inspiration, bound within Thy walls, with the strength of healing, through the years to be. Proud to be thy children. 
children, pledge ourselves to Thee. And now, our closing prayer and benediction by our chaplain, the Reverend Connor Haynes. Father Haynes. Let us pray. Almighty God, in whom we live and move and have our being, make this school a place which the Lord hath blessed, that whatsoever things are true, pure, lovely, and of good report, may here forever flourish and abound. Grant wisdom to those who preside over its administration, inspiration to those who teach, and enlightenment to those who learn. Preserve in this house an unblemished name, enlarge it with a wider usefulness, and exalt it in the love and reverence of all its members as an instrument of thy glory. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. So that's our show. I'd really like to thank all of you for being with us. Uh, this is obviously a different format than we've had in the past, but I hope you enjoyed hearing from teachers uh, from everyone who had a role in making this evening such a special, special event. I especially like to thank all of our students, particularly members of the senior class, for what was a wonderful year at Doan Academy. Sure, the last couple months have been difficult and different, uh, but I think these months out of school reminded us of the importance of each other and the importance of our mission. So. Thank you for all of that. I'd also like to thank Mr. Holman for his incredible leadership of the upper school, uh, especially during the last two months, but really throughout the entire year. We are so fortunate to have a, a wise and committed leader uh, in, the, in the upper school, and I really appreciate uh, Mr. Holman's work every day, as I know we all do. So I hope uh, that those of you I don't see over the next couple of days, I hope you all have a wonderful summer. Seniors, I look forward to seeing you at a couple more events. Uh, but for all of you, I hope you have a good summer. Uh, returning students at Doan, I certainly look forward to seeing you in September. And again, thank you for joining us this evening. Bye-bye.